So, over the weekend was SGC 2018, a convention out in Shanghai, China, where there's often third-party reveals, with this year being their big 10-year anniversary. But there's simply too much news to cover all in one video. So here are my top picks from this year. If you'd like to check everything out, a link will be in the description. Well, to kick things off, let's start with Transform Elements' upcoming offerings. We covered their version of Masterpiece Optimus Prime in our MP44 News and Comparison video. Now it seems they're expanding into Beast Wars, with their own versions of Black Arachnia and Rat Trap. These appear to be very early 3D printed prototypes, but they look pretty good so far. I'm especially excited for Black Arachnia, and not for the reasons you think, you dirty-minded people out there. This is the first time she's gotten her own original mold based on her Season 1 and 2 pre-transmetal form. Before this, all she had was her original mold, which was just a repaint of Tarantulas, and the Takara Legends remold of animated Black Arachnia. And Rat Trap looks pretty good too, at least from what we can see. There's not as many pics of him as there is Black Arachnia, for obvious reasons. Although we did recently get the Generations Rat Trap, which was nearly perfect. I'll be waiting to see how Transform Element aim to improve on that design. We have a shot of them near their Masterpiece Optimus Prime to give us some idea of the scale, and they look tiny, almost legend size. Although from people who are there in person, they say they're on the small side of a deluxe. So these look like they may be meant to go with your Masterpiece Beast Wars figures, which would make sense since they were two of the smallest characters in the show. And they don't seem to have much sculpted detail, like fur, which is something the Beast Wars masterpieces usually tend to have, because they often use the printed texture on smooth surface look to try and match the CG of the show. Continuing with our third-party Beast Wars news, we've got a whole array of new figures coming from Iron Factory, starting with some legend-scale versions of Optimal Optimus and Transmetal 2 Megatron. It's interesting how much these remind me of their Big Brother Perfect Effect counterparts. Megatron even has the same Dragon Arm alternate transformation. He doesn't appear to have any wheels though, so they may have axed his third ground mode. And while Primal isn't shown in his ground or aerial modes, he does have wheels and wings, so he probably retains those modes. Honestly, doing an Optimal Optimus without all four of his modes is like doing a six shot that's not a six changer. Moving on from the Beast Wars offerings, we have more G1 figures. Starting with Megatron, who's actually four Megatrons in one, as he comes with alternate parts to change him from his Megatron origin appearance, to monstrosity, to infiltration, to G1. And of course he still transforms into a tank thing too. This Megatron is definitely looking to satisfy everyone. Continuing with the comic book figures, we've also got an IDW Ultra Magnus coming from Iron Factory, complete with a little Minimus Ambus transforming figure. Magnus looks to be a big chunky guy with articulated hands and loads of guns all over him. Iron Factory has more G1 figures for you too. Hound, Wheeljack, Mirage, who seems to come with both cartoon and toy accurate heads, Cliff Jumper, Soundwave, who transforms into both his old school cassette deck mode and an amusing truck mode that says, well, we tried. There's also a blue blue streak repaint of their Datsun mold, a Cyan repaint of their Seeker mold, a Nemesis Prime repaint of their Optimus Prime mold, and finally, a pair of Runabout and Runamuck who are repaints and remolds of their Sunstreaker mold. One last bit of news from Iron Factory is this Starwing figure, which is this anime girl who looks like a human Starscream and also comes with some Starscream armor. It doesn't look like she transforms, but it is an interesting and unique looking figure as far as Transformers go. She reminds me of this anime called Strike Witches about these girls who put on plane parts to fight aliens or something. I haven't actually watched the show, just some trailers, but that's what it immediately reminded me of. Next up, from Iron Warrior, we have images of their new and upcoming figures. Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Ultra Magnus from Transformers Prime, as well as Jet Optimus and Brawl from the movies. And lastly, a War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. These all look great, but it's important to keep in mind that as per all Iron Warrior products, these do not transform. They're basically just really nice action masters. And finally, we've got a couple teasers from Fans Hobby. First is an Armada Optimus Prime figure. It's still in development, so there's not much to say here, but I'm glad to see third party branching out into more non-G1 characters. Next, we've got another teaser, this time, for Minerva and Ghost Shooter figures. 
Again, these are still in development, but it's pretty awesome that we're finally getting a new Minerva figure. We haven't really gotten a new version of her, or at least the robot part of her that turns into a car, up until now. Her color scheme was the basis for a Japanese DVD exclusive repaint of Cybertron Thunderblast. Her human headmaster component received a non-transforming posable action figure of herself by CM Corporation. And most recently she got a Titan Master only figure which was a pack-in exclusive that came with the Takara Legends God Jinrai gift set. Which again was just her head. Transformable yes, but still just the head with no official body to plug her on. So again, glad to see that she's finally getting a new figure complete with Transtector. Oh, and Go Shooter, yay, I guess. Although he got his own figure recently as one of Million Publishing's exclusives. Which now that I think about it is kind of ironic because that toy was a repaint of Generations Nightbeat. Whereas the original Minerva toy was a repaint of the G1 Nightbeat toy. Huh. Well, those are my picks from this year's SGC 2018 third party news. Again, if you want to explore everything, link is in the description. What are you most excited for out of everything shown off this week? Let me know down in the comments.